Did you feel the earth move under your feet recently? Los Angeles, a city known for its glitz and glamour, was recently rocked by an unexpected guest, an earthquake. As the clock struck midday, the city's heartbeat began to pulsate with the rhythm of the earth's tremors. A seismic wave with a magnitude that made even the bravest hearts skip a beat, originated from the city's underbelly. The epicenter, nestled in the heart of downtown, sent shockwaves that rippled through the city, leaving a trail of fear and confusion. Imagine, one moment you're sipping your morning coffee, and the next, you're clutching onto anything solid, as the ground beneath you sways unpredictably. The city that never sleeps was jolted awake as the earth roared and buildings swayed like trees in a storm. In the immediate aftermath, residents emerged from their homes, their faces painted with shock and disbelief. The city, usually abuzz with activity, stood eerily silent as if holding its breath waiting for the aftershocks. The tremors may have subsided, but the echoes of the shaking ground still resonate in the minds of the Angelinos. But what does this seismic event mean for the infamous San Andreas Fault? When we talk about earthquakes in California, it's impossible to ignore the San Andreas Fault. This fault line, over 800 miles long, is the state's most notorious seismic feature. It's a constant reminder of the Earth's power beneath our feet. The recent earthquake has sent ripples of concern through the community, with experts analyzing its connection to the San Andreas Fault. Some seismologists argue that the quake is a precursor to larger tremors along the fault line, while others caution against alarmist predictions. This debate has sparked a flurry of controversy, with each side presenting compelling arguments rooted in years of research and data. Dr. Lucy Jones, a renowned seismologist, has emphasized that while this quake is a wake-up call, it doesn't necessarily predict a major event. On the other hand, Professor Thomas Jordan from the Southern California Earthquake Center argues that the recent seismic activity could be a sign of the big one brewing. These differing views highlight the unpredictable nature of earthquakes. They remind us that despite our best efforts, we're still learning about the complexities of the San Andreas Fault and its potential to unleash devastating seismic activity. This uncertainty is a stark reminder of our need for continued research, preparedness, and resilience in the face of nature's unpredictable power. Yet, the San Andreas Fault isn't the only geological concern for the West Coast. North of California, the Cascadia subduction zone has been eerily quiet, until now. For centuries, this sleeping giant has rested, but the recent tremors in Los Angeles have stirred it from its slumber. Seismologists, those who study earthquakes, are now on their toes. They are investigating whether the seismic activity in LA could have implications for the Cascadia subduction zone. Dr. Amelia Richter, a leading seismologist at the California Institute of Technology, shares her thoughts. She says, the LA earthquake could potentially increase stress on the Cascadia subduction zone, the zone is a ticking time bomb, and even a slight increase in stress could trigger it. On the other hand, Dr. Oscar Raymond, a renowned geophysicist from Stanford University, offers a different perspective. He suggests, while the LA earthquake is significant, it's unlikely to directly impact the Cascadia subduction zone. The two are separate tectonic entities. The potential impact of such activity is nothing short of catastrophic. If the Cascadia subduction zone were to rupture, it could result in a powerful earthquake and subsequent tsunami, affecting millions living along the West Coast. So what's the bottom line? What does all this mean for the residents of the West Coast? With the ground still trembling, the implications of the recent earthquake are far-reaching. This was no ordinary tremor. The seismic event that rocked Los Angeles has sent shockwaves through the geological community, prompting a flurry of research and analysis. The quake's epicenter, located near the infamous San Andreas Fault, has raised concerns about the potential awakening of this sleeping giant. Experts are now closely monitoring the fault line, with some predicting an increase in seismic activity in the coming years. Meanwhile, the Cascadia subduction zone, a lesser-known yet equally menacing fault line, also felt the ripple effects of the quake. The significant seismic activity has reignited debates about the zone's potential for a megaquake, a possibility that has kept scientists on edge for decades. The tremor has also sparked controversy. Claims of unpreparedness and inadequate infrastructure have dominated headlines, echoing the concerns of a populace living on shaky ground. Yet, amidst the criticism, there has been a call to action. Experts are urging for updated seismic codes, improved building standards, 
and a renewed commitment to earthquake preparedness. In the aftermath of the quake, the focus is now shifting towards the future. The question isn't if another earthquake will strike, but when and how prepared we will be. Governments, scientists, and communities are ramping up efforts to mitigate the impact of future quakes. We're seeing an increase in seismic research, the implementation of advanced early warning systems, and a greater emphasis on public education about earthquake safety. The recent earthquake serves as a stark reminder of the ever-present threat beneath our feet, yet it has also highlighted the resilience and adaptability of those living in seismic hotspots. As we move forward, the lessons learned from this event will no doubt shape our approach to earthquake preparedness and response. While the Earth may have stopped shaking for now, the ripple effects of this event are just beginning to be felt.